No matter what our age or stage in life, the phrase be prepared is excellent advice. We must all be prepared for the unexpected with proper estate planning. That's why for estate planning, you should turn to the experts at the law firm of Abraham and Bauer. The entire month that he was in the hospital, my father was would not have been capable of expressing his wishes. He was in no condition to convey or express his wishes and his end of life uh, desires. Fortunately, my father was prepared. My mother and father had taken uh, the time to prepare their wills, got durable powers of attorney, and also their advanced directives. Somewhere in the neighborhood of close to 60% of all Americans have done no estate planning. Not having your estate planning can have a ripple effect where your life and your affairs are concerned. So it doesn't just impact you, it impacts your family, it impacts if you own a business, it can impact every aspect and facet of your life. I really understand and empathize what's going on here nationally, locally, and globally regarding COVID-19 and the pandemic. Today, families may be so stressed out that even in an emergency, they may want to help out, but may not be able to. So we're talking about being able to carve time out to deal with your emergency, being there to help the physicians make decisions in terms of your interests, being there to manage your financial affairs. It's really important that you have these documents and, and not require your, your family to go to court to obtain guardianship over you. And having the, the pre-planning done eliminates all that stress. And stress occurs on multiple levels. It's more efficient to have it done now, it helps ease time management in a crisis situation. It also is monetarily less expensive now than in crisis mode. I first started working with Richard because I was looking for legal services for a cousin of mine, an elderly cousin, and I needed some assistance. So um, I called the law firm, film, I told him what I needed done because I was impressed with his service and his um, attentiveness to our case. I then needed to have my own estate uh, established. He did a very thorough job. He was real attentive. The necessity to do this becomes more and more apparent every year that I'm in practice. Having these documents prepared ensures that if the crisis erupts, your family will be ready to help and assist you. It doesn't matter how healthy you are, there are circumstances you can't prepare for, there are accidents that you can't prepare, prepare for. It doesn't have to be a life-threatening issue for you to be in the hospital and not be able to communicate. If you can't communicate, then you can't express those wishes. And I can't even begin to tell you how much comfort it brought to myself and my mom to know that we didn't have to think about all that. Imagine the peace of mind by coming to me as a professional, knowing it's done correctly, not leaving it to chance, not rolling the dice and hoping that a hospital or a bank or an insurance company is going to accept whatever you've created. You know, one of the primary reasons to engage in, in estate planning is you're in control. You want your wishes and your decisions to be carried out. So I came in and I had to do, I wanted to do my last will and testament, my advanced directives. I wanted everything in order so that when the time comes, um, my children wouldn't have any of that stuff to have to deal with. And Richard made that all very simple for me. He's very calm. He's very honest. He has a lot of integrity. Uh, for traditional estate planning, which would encompass a power of attorney, an advanced director for healthcare, and a will, we would want the names and addresses of the different agents that they're naming in the documents. Uh, for the will, that information for anyone that's inheriting their ages. If someone happens to be a young person, we would also review what needs to be done to protect them and what they might be inheriting. Um, list of assets, things that potentially need protected or would pass under the will. And then they need to have had a discussion with their significant others and bring information uh, concerning healthcare in terms of what they would like to see occur uh, in healthcare, who they want to make decisions for them, 
uh, if they want to be maintained in the event the medical professional comes in and says to a reasonable degree of medical certainty, there's no expectation of recovery. Do they want to be maintained by the technology and the equipment or not? Everyone needs to have this done. Uh, anyone from 18 year olds and up, especially with the power of attorney and healthcare directive, uh, if you have college bound or college aged children, once they reach that age, their doctors may be very, very reluctant or may also refuse to give you information about your child's health care. COVID's changed everything. When the client calls, we're obtaining all of the information over the phone. We're then sending them drafts, and then we have them call back in and explain the drafts, answer any and all questions, and if there are any changes they want to make at that time or if there's other information we need to do a final completion of the document. Then and only then are they being scheduled in for a signing conference. Before that occurs, they're asked a series of pre-screening questions that the World Health Organization has put into the public domain. And then when they arrive in our parking lot, they telephone the office, they ask those again. They have to enter the, the office with a mask on. Um, they're screened for their temperature before they walk in past the front door. They're asked to use hand sanitizer at that time. And when they walk in, they're escorted to the conference room. The conference room sanitized at least twice a day and in, then also be, between clients. And, and let's say it's the last appointment of the day at that time as well. We're wearing masks, you're wearing masks. If the client wishes to, to wear gloves, we give them brand new pens, which they get to keep. Uh, for the signing. We don't want them back. They're theirs to, to keep and maintain. And then we run copies of the documents and hand them to them. If I can recommend to anyone, I would contact Mr. Abraham and get your estate done, get your will done. It's very important. It's so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm just really glad I did it because now I'm on the other side of it and it's just one less thing I have to worry about. So if there's one thing you take away from my talk today, it's really important to me as a person and as, a, as an attorney that you go meet with your attorney. Hopefully it's me, if it's someone else, it's fine. But get your planning done. For an estate planning wellness check, visit abrahambauer.com. Otherwise, call them at 443-901-1333.